Lynn. That's shyster for Jackson. He'll go for a no-low. Uh-uh, that puts it in the lap of Judge Hartley, and he won't send him away on a no-low. He's not 100 against on no-lows, Bobby. Captain Barrow is online, too. Thank you, I'll take it. Lynn Jacoby here. Yes, thank you, I'll hold. No, I do not want to take a chance on the no low. Yes, Captain Barrow. Yes, you're absolutely right. I did put Lucy in there without checking with you. I didn't want any gaps from the surgery room to the recovery room. Yes, I know that you have the security, Captain. But when she wakes up and has something to say, I want a nice, innocent female face there to reassure her. Is that OK with you? Thank you. Gosh, what a creep that Barrow is. Does Lucy have the experience to deal with a lady like this? Oh. Well, we don't know what kind of lady she is yet. Lynn Jacoby here. Yes, thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Gentlemen, thank you very much. I'm out of here. Uh, Lynn. Lynn? Uh, can I have a private word with you, please? Yeah. Are you sure about Lucy? Being a nun wasn't all prayer and fasting. She's got super Jesuit brains. You better lay off a barrel. He can be useful to us. Right, like a pit bull, he can be useful. <laughs> I'll handle him, all right? Be my guest. So where are you off to? A day in chambers, plea bargaining the child molestation. But what about Sandra Lee? Uh, the tavern on City Park Boulevard at 6 to 9. Why don't you meet me? OK. Like to do that? You're disgusting. Hey, baby, how you doing? Fine. How'd you find this place? Oh. People at Sandra Lee's studio, she likes to hang out here. Lynn! Hey, come in for a minute. How you doing? All right. All right. All right. Lynn Houston, the manager. This is my boss, Lynn Jacoby. Oh, welcome. Can I get you something from the bar? No, thanks. Uh, how's Sandra Lee? She is not in good shape. Poor girl, huh? What do you know about her? Tell the lady. She comes in here three, four times a week. When she's through taping her show, after she's jogging. A regular, you know. Is that it? Used to tell her. Well, look around. Sandra Lee's a player, you know? No, I don't know. Explain it. Between us, right? All these guys, a lot of them anyway, they've been with her. She practices what she preaches. And what does she preach? You know, casual sex, that sort of thing. Play with fire, burn you. to shreds, and the two of you back there implying that she asked for it. Is that what I have to deal with? A female wears a mini, or excuse me, little breast shows. What does that make her? Open prey for all the male wackos in the world. Wait a minute, Lynn. I'm not like that. Then you tell me why I'm feeling the way because I Because you are identifying with the victim. I'm the skeptic. It's my job.
One day. This case is one day old, and they're already driving me crazy about Sandra Lee Dawson. It's still bedlam here outside the French Quarter apartment of ex-model and talk show hostess Sandra Lee Dawson, who was rushed to Hope Hospital just minutes ago after a brutal attack. Back to you, Terry. That's very sad news, Jody. Do the police have anything to go on? Not that we've been told. Could it be linked with her talk show? Well, Terry, I think that's certainly possible considering her subjects. This attack could simply be a cover for those who want to quiet this celebrated lady whose show has become increasingly controversial. Okay, thank you very much, Jody, and we'll keep you informed with updates. Did you get the picture? You can almost see the ratings in their eyes. This is gonna sell like watermelons in August. Now, what have you got? Well, not a lot. But if she wakes up from surgery, she'll be talking to Lucy. Well, that's good. That's, that's very good, very sensitive. <laughs> You sound like what you want to read in the newspapers. Well, there's nothing I'm ashamed of. It's the media you're going to have to handle on this case. Larry, I couldn't care less about the media. I know, I know, but I do. That's one of the reasons the Democrats are offering me the senatorial nomination. Do tell. Well, if it weren't so early in the day, I'd uncork a bottle of champagne. We could do that. <laughs> Congratulations, Larry. Gonna miss you. But you'll make a good senator. And you'll make a good DA. The one who takes over for me is gonna be appointed and in office for three months before she has to stand for election. So handle the media, will you? Oh! I become the parish's first woman DA, and you win in a landslide with a female vote. Not to mention the black vote. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> the bottom line is, you can do the job. Thanks, Larry. But now I gotta get back to the bad news. Yeah, there are a lot of traps in a case like this. At the same time, lying down in green pastures with the media. That's my lady. Who are you gonna pick? For what? Well, I just picked you. Now it's your turn. Who's gonna fill your shoes? Yeah, not so easy up here at the top, is it? <laughs> this is it, the whole bow. You sure? I'm positive. I spotted him at the tavern. Nothing yet. Not a sound. I've seen the newspapers. <laughs> There ought to be a law. Oh, it'll get worse. If they could see her body, the stitching, maybe they'd forget this nonsense. Not a chance, Bruce. They're gonna grind it out like a soap opera. <laughs> I'd better get back to her. What you better do is get some sleep. No, no, not now. I've got the feeling that she knows I'm there. That it makes a difference. Do we have anything? We have a slight opening. Bobby and Beryl are checking it out. Great. The old boy network. I'm sorry. But I can't very well stop and consider your relationship with Bobby every time I express myself. OK, Lucy. Exactly what is on your mind? Lynn, everything Bobby has to say, down comes your stamp of approval. You rely on your associates, Lucy. Don't forget that. He hassles suspects, Lynn. Welcome to the real world. Every one of us walks on the edges. When was the last time you ran a routine check on Bobby? In the field? Same time I ran one on you. Central supply, please call surgery. Okay. 